We're seeing a lot of patients on semiglutides, so Zempic, Monjovi, some of those drugs. But what happens when you lose that weight is you'll have a lot of extra skin. And one place we see are really profound changes in the face. People that are on these semiglutide weight loss drugs really have gaunt faces and it does affect your appearance, makes you look much, much older. You want to use something pretty powerful and you probably want to go for several rounds. Our one filler that I think is amazing is something called Sculptra. It's a, not a filler per se, it's a collagen stimulant. So Sculptra, you do a series of treatments. So think about Sculptra as I'm going to be on the program. So when you do Sculptra, You'll do several vials at a time. We dilute the vials, we inject the sculpture of the cheekbone, lower eyelid, the cheek junction, nasolabial fold, marionette line, jaw line, and that really helps fill and rejuvenate the face. You put a lot of volume in, it goes away, and then the sculpture is a product that stimulates collagen production over time. So with a weight loss patient, you want to go two to four vials at a time, repeating that every four to eight weeks. Um, probably my favorite. If you go the hyaluronic acid route, you want to use a heavier filler, something that has a longer um, half-life and will give you more of a, a fill. Another great option is uh, autologous fat. So you can take fat from one part of your body, it didn't take a whole lot. Take the fat, you process it, you have an unlimited supply essentially. And in one procedure, essentially, you can fat wrap all the areas of the face, really fill the face. Um, and make a huge difference. So for the weight loss patients that don't want a facelift, sometimes just the act of filling the face is tremendously helpful.